Hey everyone, welcome to Mixology for Nology. We're gonna do something we haven't done in a long time. We are doing an unboxing video. What's that? We've never done an unboxing video? Well, then you guys are in for a treat because we're gonna do our very first unboxing video. I'm your host, Bitter Steve. What's that? As host, I should know that we've only done five videos, so I should know if we've done an unboxing video or not. That's great. Well, anyway, why don't you help us out and get this video, what's that? I'm all alone here, I'm talking to myself. Hey, let's just <laughs> roll the intro, let's get this started. All right, today's a special day because we're gonna make a mule and we've got this special unboxing to get to. So let's start it out, let's look at this. I should never order things sight unseen from a foreign country. This is either gonna be an amazing uh, display of, uh, of craftsmanship or this is gonna turn into an hour long rant of uh, why you should never order things uh, on the internet without being able to see it in person. Let's check it out. Wow, look at that. Hand hammered copper. This is gorgeous. I actually like this one because it came with two. And that gives me one to use for the videos. And then a second one that's just for the photography. That way we can keep it looking nice and neat. Oh, just amazing quality. Um, but let's check this out. Look at that. Just amazing. There we go. Focus in on that. That detail is incredible. Um, this copper work is phenomenal. Um, very well done. Includes a lid. This is a phenomenal piece. So here at Mixology Phrenology, uh, the only time that we will ever use a flavorless, colorless, um, alcoholic, I don't know what that stuff is, like astringent face cleaner, um, is if I really want to taste um, olive brine and vermouth. Um, other than that, there's no point in using that. It just waters down your drink and makes it alcoholic. If you're going to be adding something to it, it better be uh, flavor. And so um, we're going to make our mule today with uh, rum. And here's the thing, it doesn't matter what rum you can use. You use any rum in this and it's going to end up being way better than the regular type of mule. And to prove that, I'm going to use a uh, very special rum. Now this is mom's traditional sugar byproduct uh, industrial distillate, also known as rum. So the way we're going to build this, let's get our ice in here. dished out an ounce and a half of our special rum. We're gonna be using just a half ounce of a uh, special mixture. I've decided to go with a mix between a lemon and lime. I think that will give us a little bit more flavor out of this. So we'll just use about half an ounce. And we're gonna fill this with, I love this, this little tiny cans. This is about 6.8 fluid ounces of ginger beer. Um, I hate having to like, finish a cocktail and then drink like most of a can of ginger beer so that I don't waste it. Um, we're gonna do four ounces of the ginger beer right on top. That fills it right up. A real swizzle. I actually want about a hundred of these 
at a, uh, at a, at a rum club meeting. Let's swizzle this. So let's check this out really quick. Mm. It's so much better when you add flavor. Uh, I know I don't understand why people um, make this drink with a flavorless, colorless alcohol. It just waters it down. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so we've used a, um, a unique Taiwanese rum. Uh, we did a lemon lime mixture. I think that adds a little bit extra oomph. And then the, the Bundaberg ginger beer. I only picked out one. I mean, I love ginger beer. Um, but this one happens to be in a small can, so I'm not wasting a lot. Uh, so I'll be able to drink that before I go to bed tonight. And I won't feel bloated in the morning because I've had like a full can of ginger beer um, and my cocktail at the same time. Uh, this has been another successful experiment. Uh, Mixology Phrenology, I'm your host, Bitter Steve. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next video.